Hello everybody, welcome to MoEasy Crypto. We're finally back. It's been a while, but I got everything I needed and I'm gonna keep on improving. I got my son MoEasy here today. Yeah, hello. Alright. Now we're going through. It's been a when I think the last time on my last video we'll have to check, but y'all can watch and see where Bitcoin was before. But I mean it was up in like 40 maybe 30 thousands now Bitcoin is at 19,400 <laughs> yep Ethereum is up to well down to 1329 now we got some tethers number three USD coin stable coins number three and four you know why the stable coins are number three and four? No. Because uh, another sta um well these two, another stable coin, because everything's going down, so everybody wants to uh, keep stable coins for now. Except you know a lot of people went through something bad with uh, UST. That was a stable coin that went bad. That was uh, Lunas. But um, we're gonna have they have a story about Luna Classic today that we'll be going through and uh, BNB is at $281 everything's pretty much kind of steady for the day the market is only down 0.64% today and do they show Bitcoin's dominance like they used to we'll see no they don't I don't see it but we got Binance USD. That's another stable coin moved up to number seven. That's Binance is on Binance's XRP. They're at number six. We got Cardano at 43. I rem at 43 cents. Then we have Solana at 33 dollars. Okay, Dogecoin at six cents. Wow, that's a big drop. We have Polkadot at six dollars. Dai, another stable coin. So it's big on stable coins, but it's not. Dai is a little tiny bit under a dollar. Means it's not holding its peg, but it should. It shouldn't have no problems. But let's check up here how many stable coins we have in the top 12. One, two, three, four stable coins in the top 12. Wow. Then we have Polygon at 13. Shiba, Shiba Inu coming at, in at number 14. Tron at number 15 and Avalanche at number 16. So more people are on to the blockchains mostly people are the blockchains and stable coins Bitcoin Ethereum's a blockchain BNB is a blockchain XRP pretty much Cardano's a blockchain except Dogecoin still hanging in there Polkadot is their own blockchain Polygon is now we got Shibu there's just a, a coin but we have Tron that's a blockchain Avalanche is a blockchain. Now we have Uniswap, the coin for uh, DEX. That's a decentralized exchange. So that's one of the exchanges you can go on to uh, Uniswap where you want to see. You can go on to Uniswap. Let's go on to their site. If you wanted to go on to Uniswap, Hold on, let's. What happened? It's locked. Well, I don't know. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, over here, you can just launch app. You can go swap, whatever you need. Have to set up, boom. So, that's decentralized. There is no centralized 
organization that owns that. So that's so let's see what Uniswap is at six dollars today. And I'm talking to my son, so I know some of you people you already know this, but um wrapped Bitcoin, that's Bitcoin on Ethereum's blockchain. So no wrapped Bitcoin. Uh Bitcoin uh Binance's Bitcoin is we'll see where what number that one is. Wow, I don't I don't know, it was a lot of people but a lot of people have sold Bitcoin a lot, so wow. Let me see what Well, we'll have to. I'll have to check that out and see which ones, uh, where Binance's Bitcoin is. But I'll be checking. I forgot what it is. It BUS? No, B BTC? No, BTCB. Okay, let's try it. Let's see where BTCB is. Where's the search? Man, you can tell. Okay, there we go. BTCB. Boom, let's see where it is at. Does it say it's ranking? It's market cap number 205. Let's see. Let's go to market cap. Uh, right over the year. So, that's why. The market cap, less people are, have been holding it. So, it's went from... 7.1 billion all the way down to 2 billion so yeah wow so I guess a lot of people been getting but Ethereum's Bitcoin has been holding so I guess the first thing people dumped on the Binance blockchain was the Bitcoin their Binance Bitcoin okay so son that's good you know a little you know a little huh all right now I don't I forgot who they are so let's go back let's see who they are Eunice SED LEO is a utility token that is used across the iFinex iFinex ecosystem the usual name is based on a Latin citation from one of Isop's fables. The cryptocurrency allows Bitfinex. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bitfinex. That's the I know the owner of that is real popular. So this might be some. That's why, because Bitfinex is probably going to be their coins are probably going to be up in this uh, up in the top 25. Uses to save money on trading fees. Okay, the extent of the discount depends on how much LEO that the customer has in their account. So as Bit as Bit Finex grows, this will probably grow, and it's been growing. And the savings on offer are spread across the three tiers. There are fluctuations depending on whether a trading pair is crypto to crypto or crypto to stablecoin. Unis LEO launched in May 2019 and unlike many other cryptocurrencies out there, is not designed to exist forever. Wow. Might have to, we might have to do a little story on that. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be doing a story on this. Okay. The token burn mechanism means iFinex is committed to buying back. Oh, they're going to buy them off from the market on a monthly basis. The amount that is purchased and burned is equal to a, at least 27% of the revenues generated by iFinex. And tokens are also purchased at the market rate. In the, new, in the news release at the time, the company said the burn mechanism will continue until 100% of the tokens have been redeemed whereas some crypt cryptocurrencies just launch on a single blockchain 
LAO tokens were issued on two blockchains, while 64% of the original supply was on Ethereum. The, the remaining 36 could be found on EOS. So I guess that's better for like somebody tried to attack. Yeah, and EOS. Okay, EOS is Cosmos. Pretty sure. So okay, okay, we're gonna really do more research on this because gotta stay up on your research. But that's why I have this channel so I can share while I research. And we're gonna get more lighting and everything too. You know, you just I advise everyone. You know, start where you're at. And I'm over, okay. So, boom, Litecoin. It then took some. It then went back because it used to be close to the top ten. Ethereum Classic is number twenty-one. We got Chainlink at number twenty-two. We also got Cosmos number 23 at 12 dollars and FTX token that's the token for uh pretty sure Bitfinex let me double check oh that might be a whole nope no it's not FTX is a whole nother so yes F FTX okay yeah FTX is a real large uh exchange and their uh, their owner is one of the top top people in the business. Matter of fact, let's look him up. Uh, FTX owner. Samuel Bank Freeman is known is initial known by his initials SBF is an American entrepreneur billionaire and an investor he is the founder of and CEO of FTX a cryptocurrency exchange and FTX US its US affiliate as of February 2022 the exchange has over 1 million users so yeah he's entered the top uh, pe richest people in the world just from crypto so yeah he's a uh, Richie's one of the top Forbes. You see what he says about about him on Forbes. Worth 16.9 billion. 88 in the world today. Number 88. So just like that. But uh, all right. So that he's in the top 25 with his token for his. Now we might just go through just to check to see Terra Classic. Oh man, sorry for everyone who lost on Terra Classic. They're up 16%. I was one of those people. I lost some money on that because of their stable coin. Or those, if you want to know more about that, I could do some. But I'm pretty sure you can find out a lot about that. But I could do my, uh, I could do my take on that. Okay, Hedera went back. The Central Land. I'm not. They're about around the same place they were. We got Axie Infinity. Okay. All right, Maker back. We got Pancake Swap went back a little bit, but it's up five percent for the week. But woo, a lot of altcoins have been doing bad over the year. But hey, sooner or later it's gonna be time to go up and. You gotta think long term. Trust Wallet got a token. And they're in the top hundred. I like Trust Wallet. So uh man, why didn't I didn't know about that though? So need to know about that. We're not going okay. Celsius, they went bankrupt. They're in the top hundred. So okay. Let's go over a couple stories. Like I was saying about Luna Classic. It spikes 25% weekly on Doquan's Do claims. Even though Doquan, the owner of Lunar, is wanted by, I think, 25 countries. Yeah, he lost a lot of money from a lot of people. So, a lot of people aren't happy with that. Alright. It's been months since the Terra ecosystem collapsed, but this week saw multiple new developments on that front. 
Luna Classic re re reacted positively. Unlike the previous week, which has, which was full of vol volatility, the past seven days were quite more stagnant in the cryptocurrency space. Bitcoin, for one, had calmed around 19,000 after the most recent price drops and spent the weekend as well as Monday at that level. The situation changed on Tuesday when it initiated an impressive leg up, resulting in a price surge to over 20,000 for the first time in 12 days. However, the bears tightened their grip on the market and pushed their assets south. In a matter of hours, BTC had dropped below 18,500. Nevertheless, it bounced off and has returned to a familiar trading range between 19,000 and 20,000. It's worth noting, though, that Bitcoin's dominance over altcoins took a breather this week. The metric had fallen to 37.5 last Friday, but it touched 40% yesterday before declining slightly to about 39.5. Last year was about uh, 50% or over, a little over. ETH continues to underperform. In the two weeks since the merge took place, the second largest crypto lost over $400 at one point. The past seven days saw it push to $1,400, which has halted in its tracks. And ETH is down to around $1,300. Ripple, on the other hand, XRP, is once again making headlines. The blockchain company's lawsuit against the SEC took another positive turn, and the, nat the native token reacted with a double-digit price surge today which was yesterday it didn't say it on there so Lana okay B Uniswap and Chainlink after his most recent product launch has seen impressive weekly increases of up to 10% QNT though and it's in a league of its own in terms of weekly price actions being up by over 30% one of the few mid or lower cap alts that challenge QNT is Luna Classic the ask Asset has added about 25% of USD devaluation in a week, and it seems to react immediately to the news regarding Doquan Saga. So, yeah, but Luna Classic, uh, that's not helping a lot of people because it's a lot of people lost a lot of money, and they'll never really get it back because the their coin, they they printed too many coins. It's overinflated every or not it but the value is too low but um yeah and uh that's all our news well oh yeah we got one more thing uh Cardano's cutting his uh, cuts his gas fees by nearly 50 percent and transaction space by t 10 10 uh, 10 times so uh that's pretty good with their vassal hard for it so we'll see because um their fees weren't as high as Ethereum or other, but they were a little bit high, so that'd be good. So, uh, average gas fee going to go from $1.44 uh, ADA to about 73.73 ADA. And, uh, well, that's pretty low because uh, ADA's pretty low right now. So, uh, it's going down. It, that's got to be low. I don't know. I would guess around 0.73 ADA would be 3 around 30 cents something a little bit over 30 cents because they just at 40 cents so um that's good um thank whoever watches my channel we're gonna uh i'm gonna be making a lot more videos i just wanted to make it important to just get back and start making my videos and whatever you're doing whatever you're doing just start back and get on to it just, just it don't have to be perfect just make sure you just keep improving Alright, we'll see y'all. Alright, bye.